Um, I was invited by a friend of mine uh, who owns a farm um, on the road out towards Alasdale, uh, about 45 minutes drive from here. Uh, he's a sheep farmer. Uh, he keeps um, merino sheep for the wool. And after we'd visited on one occasion, he said, well, why don't you come out? Because soon we're going to be doing the shearing of, of these huge flocks of sheep that he had. Uh, and I'd never been to a shearing, and I was a little bit nervous about it, thinking, well, what are they going to do? Are they going to sort of hack the wool off? Are the sheep going to be terrified? Um, who are these people who are going to be doing it? Um, so I was a little bit nervous, but I said, yes, of course I'll come down. Uh, when I got there, there's a group, a group of people from, um, from Lesotho. A, they call them a gang had come down. They're not a gang in any, any strict sense of the word, just a group of people who moved from farm to farm shearing the sheep. So I got there. These were very, I went in there. The sheep were being brought in from outside, and they went into the shearing shed. But there were three little rooms. The final one was the shearing shed with sort of wooden slats on the ground where they did the shearing, and the sheep were then put back into the second of two um, holding pens. So the first pen, they came in from outside, they're all, yeah, I'm a sheep, I'm a sheep, what's happening here? And, and then they, they were held there for a while, they moved them then into the second one, and finally into the shearing. But the shearing was very quiet, it was very professional, and it was very gentle in a strange sort of sense. But it was still artificial, I still felt a little uncomfortable about watching it. Uh, so my response to, to that experience um, is this poem, called, very imaginatively, The Shearing. And it's for, my friend. it's for my friend Rob Wilmot. Warmth of the holding pen. Ewes wait their turn, huddled together greyly. Tiny feet tapping out a soft dance of nervous doubt upon the wood laths for reassurance. And I stand behind, leaning on a rail. Sporadic low bleats. I'd half expected the rasp of machines, bustle of rough men. But there's none of this, just uneasy calm, a tense waiting for something to begin. Do I like this? Am I relaxed, easy? No, but not yet discomforted either. This is just a day's work, ordinary as yesterday's sun or tomorrow's rain. In the shearing shed, its floor wool scattered with grey-white globs, I watch them working. No rush, a rhythmic shaving, practiced poise to release each naked ewe at last and cast aside her limp fleece like some sheep ghost or pale soul upon its slattered altar to be picked apart and assessed for truths. Returned, they huddle, stark as candle wax, into the flock, faces, necks together, while the others wait their time. And now I am with them, sly voyeur of the shearing, witnessing their profound indignities and thinking of Auschwitz. All this happens in uncomplaining silence as clippers snigger their electric penetrations. Yet I'm here with the sheep. Will someone come soon for me, heave me expertly onto my back, drag me, hands raised in submission, into the next room by my wrists to do who knows what unthinkable things to me? And if by some chance I survive, shorn of all I am, Whose bleak creation will I be? That's what they do.